Nigeria is a middle-income, mixed economy and emerging market, with expanding financial, service, communications, technology and entertainment sectors. It is ranked as the 21st largest economy in the world in terms of nominal GDP, and the 20th largest in terms of purchasing power parity. It is the largest economy in Africa, its re-emergent, though currently underperforming, manufacturing sector is the third largest on the continent, and produces a large proportion of goods and services for the West African sub-region. Nigeria recently changed its economic analysis to account for rapidly growing contributors to its GDP, such as telecommunications, banking, and its film industry. Previously hindered by years of mismanagement, economic reforms of the past decade have put Nigeria back on track towards achieving its full economic potential. Nigerian GDP at purchasing power parity has almost tripled from $170 billion in 2000 to $451 billion in 2012. Although estimates of the size of the informal sector put the actual numbers closer to $630 billion, Correspondingly, the GDP per capita doubled from $1,400 per person in 2000 to an estimated $2,800 per person in 2012. These figures are to be revised upwards by as much as 80% when metrics are recalculated subsequent to the rebasing of its economy in April 2014. Although much has been made of its status as a major exporter of oil, Nigeria produces only about 2.7% of the world's supply. To put oil revenues in perspective, at an estimated export rate of 1.9 MBBLD, with a projected sales price of $65 per barrel in 2011. Nigeria's anticipated revenue from petroleum is about $52.2 billion. This accounts about 11% of official GDP figures. Therefore, though the petroleum sector is important, it remains in fact a small part of the country's overall vibrant and diversified economy. The largely subsistence agricultural sector has not kept up with rapid population growth, and Nigeria, once a large net exporter of food, now imports a large quantity of its food products, though there is a resurgence in manufacturing and exporting of food products. In 2006, Nigeria successfully convinced the Paris Club to let it buy back the bulk of its debts owed to the Paris Club for a cash payment of roughly $12 billion. According to a Citigroup report published in February 2011, Nigeria will get the highest average GDP growth in the world between 2010 and 2050. Nigeria is one of two countries from Africa among 11 global growth generators countries. Overview. Nigeria's economy is struggling to leverage the country's vast wealth in fossil fuels in order to displace the poverty that affects about 33% of its population. Economists refer to the coexistence of vast wealth in natural resources and extreme personal poverty in developing countries like Nigeria as the resource curse. Although, resource curse, is more widely understood to mean an abundance of natural resources which fuels official corruption resulting in a violent competition for the resource by the citizens of the nation. Nigeria's exports of oil and natural gas, at a time of peak prices, have enabled the country to post merchandise trade and current account surpluses in recent years. Reportedly, 80% of Nigeria's energy revenues flow to the government, 16% cover operational costs, and the remaining 4% go to investors. However, the World Bank has estimated that as a result of corruption 80% of energy revenues benefit only 1% of the population. In 2005, Nigeria achieved a milestone agreement with the Paris Club of Lending Nations to eliminate all of its bilateral external debt. Under the agreement, the lenders will forgive most of the debt, and Nigeria will pay off the remainder with a portion of its energy revenues. Outside of the energy sector, Nigeria's economy is highly inefficient. Moreover, 
Human capital is underdeveloped. Nigeria ranked 151 out of countries in the United Nations Development Index in 2004, and non-energy related infrastructure is inadequate. From 2003 to 2007, Nigeria attempted to implement an economic reform program called the National Economic Empowerment Development Strategy. The purpose of the needs was to raise the country's standard of living through a variety of reforms, including macroeconomic stability, deregulation, liberalization, privatization, transparency, and accountability. The needs addressed basic deficiencies, such as the lack of fresh water for household use and irrigation, unreliable power supplies, decaying infrastructure, impediments to private enterprise, and corruption. The government hoped that the needs would create 7 million new jobs, diversify the economy, boost non-energy exports, increase industrial capacity utilization, and improve agricultural productivity. A related initiative on the state level is the State Economic Empowerment Development Strategy. A longer-term economic development program is the United Nations-sponsored National Millennium Goals for Nigeria. Under the program, which covers the years from 2000 to 2015, Nigeria is committed to achieve a wide range of ambitious objectives involving poverty reduction, education, gender equality, health the environment, and international development cooperation. In an update released in 2004, the UN found that Nigeria was making progress toward achieving several goals but was falling short on others. Specifically, Nigeria had advanced efforts to provide universal primary education, protect the environment, and develop a global development partnership. However, the country lagged behind on the goals of eliminating extreme poverty and hunger, reducing child and maternal mortality, and combating diseases such as human immunodeficiency virus, acquired immune deficiency syndrome and malaria. A prerequisite for achieving many of these worthwhile objectives is curtailing endemic corruption, which stymies development and taints Nigeria's business environment. President Olusegun Obasanjo's campaign against corruption, which includes the arrest of officials accused of misdeeds and recovering stolen funds, has won praise from the World Bank. In September 2005, Nigeria, with the assistance of the World Bank, began to recover $458 million of illicit funds that had been deposited in Swiss banks by the late military dictator Sani Abachar, who ruled Nigeria from 1993 to 1998. However, while broad-based progress has been slow, these efforts have begun to become evident in international surveys of corruption. In fact, Nigeria's ranking has consistently improved since 2001, ranking 147 out of 180 countries in Transparency International's 2007 Corruption Perceptions Index. Economic History. This is a chart of trend of gross domestic products of Nigeria at market prices estimated by the International Monetary Fund with figures in dollar USD. Billions. Figures before 2000 are backwards projections from the 2000 to 2012 numbers based on historical growth rates and should be replaced when data becomes available. The figure for 2014 is derived from a rebasing of economical activity earlier in the year. This is a chart of trend of the global ranking of the Nigerian economy, in comparison with other countries of the world derived from the historical list of countries by GDP. For purchasing power parity comparisons, the US dollar is exchanged at 75.75 Nigerian Naira only. Current GDP per capita of Nigeria expanded 132% in the 60s reaching a peak growth of 283% in the 70s. But this proved unsustainable and it consequently shrank by 66% in the 80s. In the 90s, diversification initiatives finally took effect and decadal growth was restored to 10%. Due to inflation, per capita GDP today remains lower than in 1960 when Nigeria declared independence. 
About 45% of the population lives on less than $2 per day. Editor's note. This number is highly questionable, as the cost of meals alone exceed $1 a day, per person. See NOI polls for a more qualified assessment. In 2012, the GDP was composed of the following sectors. Agriculture, 40%, services, 30%, manufacturing, 15%, oil, 14% in 2005 Nigeria's inflation rate was an estimated 15.6%. Nigeria's goal under the National Economic Empowerment Development Strategy Program is to reduce inflation to the single digits. Nigerian tax authorities face the challenge of widespread tax evasion, which is motivated by complaints about corruption and the poor quality of services. Mean wages were $1.11 per man-hour in 2009.